Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here, and we're back in the shave den with another uh, shave review, another shave video. Actually, I'm going to be trying for the first time the Wilkinson Sword Quad Blade Razor. Now, uh, I want to thank one of the subscribers. He uh, told me about this. I hadn't seen any advertising, and I looked, and there's only like a couple of reviews on YouTube on this, so I didn't want to watch them yet because I didn't want to you know, you know, if I say something, I repeat something that they've already said. I'm actually not stealing it from them. I actually am coming up with it. But uh, first of all, it's the quad blade. And I didn't know what to think when I saw this because uh, it's not a cartridge and it's not a DE, but it's something in between. So let's take a look. And I have peaked. I have taken a look at this because I wasn't quite sure how it loaded or anything, so I needed to kind of look. So when I open this up, I'm not struggling for 15 minutes. All right, first of all, it comes in a much too big of a box for this uh, razor. It uh, could be half the size, so it actually comes in a uh, kind of a coffin case. You've got your instructions, you have your blades, and you have your razor. Now, I was originally, I'm usually very positive, I was originally, when I opened this up, couldn't believe it because I thought, oh man, you know, proprietary blade system, which means there's only one vendor, and that's Wilkinson Sword, or owned by the Schick Corporation. Schick Corporation, there we go. But uh, I kind of started thinking about it. I was thinking about it last night because I opened this up last night and looked at it. And it's not entirely a bad thing, I guess. Well, first of all, you have this heavy, damn, heavy razor. Looks like a DE razor. Appears to be a DA razor, DE razor, but it's, it's in between. It's not a cartridge. It's not a DE. I'm going to call it a hybrid. It's kind of in between. So we twist this. Up comes the lid just like a normal two-piece DE razor, but uh, you have this weird configuration. Now, I've noticed it doesn't appear that there's a certain way that this goes on. I don't see any arrows lining up. So, you know, unlike some of the, uh, some of the razors I have, they have to be lined up just perfect, like the Parker variant or the... Like the Parker variant has like an arrow. You have to like line up the arrow and the notch. This one does not have that. And the Parker variant feels like really solid uh, stainless steel. This is plated. And I did look at the box. It is made in China. So, you know. But... It says the blades are made in the United States. Hold on one sec. Well, I read that somewhere, but I can't, uh, I can't uh, find that now. But yeah, see, only compatible with the Wilkinson Sword blades. And the blades almost look like it comes in a, almost looks like a case for a DE blade. Plastic cover. <laughs> and it's got the arrow. Oh, well, I'm going to struggle with this because it, it's not a sliding. It doesn't slide out like an injector blade. So let's see here. Okay, it's got a little snap. This is the fun part. Damn, my old eyes. I had to get the magnifying glasses on. See, it's got a little lip. Lift that up. This thing lifts open. And there you have your very sharp blade. Looks like a DE blade, see? But there's two blades. Kind of like a Gillette Track 2. And it's on both sides, so it truly is a quad blade. So let's see here. Goes on with a plastic side up. Probably, there we go. Sits right in there with the plastic side up. I've had a lot of coffee, guys. <laughs> I enjoy my caffeine. Okay, I've dropped the lid in. Holding the little, uh, 
um, there, tightening, tightening it up. And now as you see, dual, dual. So yeah, this is definitely a hybrid. This could be for some of you who are getting into wet shaving and you go, well, man, I've got a cartridge. I'm used to a cartridge. I don't know if I want to go straight to a DE blade because uh, a lot of people think, oh, DE blades, they cut you, they, you know. This might be a happy in-between. And it's one damn heavy razor. It's got the angle, as you can see, already to kind of hug your face. And I've got quite a bit of growth on here today. So we're gonna kind of see how that goes. So let me set, here's your instructions. So I cheated. I opened up this box last night. I read how to load this damn thing. Now, the cost. I get like 100 of the Wilkinson Sword Gillette blades shipped for like seven bucks from India. I looked, the only place I could find these, they didn't even have them on Amazon. They have the razor on Amazon, 23 bucks. It comes with some blades already. I think it's five blades, five or three. But uh, I looked and their company, $17 for 15 blades. And I do believe it said free shipping. So we're looking at like 90 cents a blade, which is way better, way better than paying five to seven dollars for a cartridge, a modern cartridge blade. So right off the bat, disappointed that it's proprietary. It's nice to have competition. If another company made the blades, the prices would be a little lower. All right. So I'm going to lather up today with some familiar items. I don't know how it's going to shave. So I'm going to use some Parasso pre-shave, Parasso green. Parasso aftershave. That's kind of my standard if I'm testing something. Oh, and a synthetic, the Ken Surf's 2020 limited edition. Damn, we're almost the year that never was, right? 2020. <laughs> we won't get into that. All right. I'm going to put that right in there. Crystal skull soaking. And we will lather up. Yeah, hybrid razor. Kind of a crossover, right? Okay. A little pre-shave. Because I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure. And when you're not sure about a blade or a razor, I would suggest you use a little pre-shave, either cream or oil. Because that way, you know you've got the slickness. You're familiar with your soap. If there's a problem, it's going to be the new razor or the blades in it. In this case, you don't have any choice as a blade. You have the one choice. All right. Menthol. All right. Got the synthetic brush. And we will start. Too much water. What's the problem with switching brushes like I do? Every shave, it's a different brush. If I use the same one, I'd have it dialed in, man. Dialed in with each soap. See? <laughs> dialed in. Still very thin. There we go. Oh, and some person asked, hey man, can you show me how to shave my, how I shave my neck? Well, you're going to kind of see that in this, this video. To answer his question, you've got to map the growth of your hair on your face. The hair on my neck grows at an angle like this. So when I shave and I'm going... With the grain, it's not quite. It's kind of halfway with the grain, halfway across the grain. So I found out that if I shave down and up, it, with my, the beard here goes straight down. 
So down and across is, is, is great. But uh, with the neck, it can be tricky. Everybody's neck is tricky, my friend. All right. Heavy. Again, I repeat, heavy. But I'm able to hold it. All right. <laughs> Here we go. All right, it's got the feel of like a Gillette Atra, dual blade cartridge razor. Shaves okay. Well, so far, you gotta watch what I say, right? It's doing okay. I'm just keep forgetting to spin it. <laughs> but I, I, I notice, see my hand, it, it is a little slick, gents. The knurling, ah, there we go. I've rinsed off the soap off my hand. The knurling was slippery. I can get in there under the nose. That's the problem I had with Mercure Future. Future, Future. The head's so damn big, I, I couldn't shave the upper lip very well. I'm already thinking what improvements this company could do for this razor. It would make it more desirable to me. If they made the adapter, that piece of plastic that held the blades that we loaded into this razor, if they made an adapter that you could use like, I don't know if you saw the leaf razor. If you haven't seen my video on the leaf razor, you take a DE blade and you snap it in half and it stacks. You put the half and the half, you could put the half and the half into an adapter, that, which means this razor would be fully compatible with a DE blade. That would be fantastic. I don't know if the good folks at Schick or Wilkinson Sword watch our YouTube videos that you wet shavers and I put out, but there's an idea you can have for free. All right, with a cartridge blade, I would usually be done. Dual blade, what the first blade misses, the second blade catches, right? Could have dug a little deeper there. All right, I'm surprised. I came in a little negative, but the shave was good, except for soap everywhere. I'll try a second pass. It's not needed, gents. It is not needed. But I enjoy talking, so. I took one of your advice. I watched that Stephen King mini or movie on Netflix, The Tall Grass. What a weird movie, dudes. <laughs> I can watch The Thing, John Carpenter's The Thing, over and over, or Alien, or Aliens, over and over. But that one I watched once and kind of confusing, but. Kept me entertained for the whole hour and a half, but, uh... I do like some of the other Stephen King movies a little better. Okay. Entirely unnecessary for the second pass.
I'm telling you who's going to like this in my family. They, they took my leaf razor. My wife and daughter, they took my leaf razor. I, it's, it's in their bathroom. They use it. This they might find intriguing because it's dual blade. The box is real big, but maybe uh, the bigger the better if it's on a display somewhere. Maybe that's what uh, the packaging people thought. Yeah, see, there's nothing left. No feedback. Nothing left to pick up. All right, let's rinse. No weepers. Okay, shave smooth. Let's see how bad the blade clogged. Let's see. Yeah, typical two piece. Up you come. Not too bad, see? See that plastic that holds it together? If they, like I said, if there was an adapter where you could put in like the leaf razor, I don't know if that's proprietary too. I don't know if there's a copyright on these but for 90 cents a blade i don't know how long the blades are going to last it it is a step in the right direction if you're moving away from cartridge razors and you're moving towards a de blade or a de razor and if you're in a hurry that's an interesting blade too i don't know if it'll go through customs if you're a tca i don't know or the air the airline if you're going on a plane it's not really a straight blade, so which they won't let you bring on a plane, but it's almost like a cartridge. So they may let you bring that on the plane. All right, I came off thinking a little negative on it. My only criticism is it's a proprietary blade. If a lot of vendors have them for sale, that blade or the equivalent, uh, the prices would be a little lower. 90 cents, not so bad, you know, in all fairness. Uh, I could not find the blades on Amazon. I found the razor with the kit on Amazon. I couldn't find the blades on eBay. I think I did find the blades on eBay, but you had to pay like $4 for a pack or for five blades and like eight bucks shipping or something. I mean, shipping gets you. The only place I found it was on the Wilkinson Sword site. I'll put the link in this video. All right. Not too bad. I, I shouldn't have been thinking all the negative things I was thinking about it. And I'm going to call it a crossover razor, a nice hybrid razor. It's in between. It's definitely worth a look. Work good for me. That's all I can say. Now the best part, let's feel a burn. And the knurling could have been a bit more sharp. Just don't hold it with <laughs> slippery, silky hands. Oh, and Parasso never fails to give a good fresh burn and fresh smell. Wow. All right. All right. I'm sold. All right. I'm glad I purchased it. Like I said, I paid 23 bucks, free shipping, came with some blades. If it was my everyday user, I'd probably stock up on a few blades because I don't know how easy it is to get them. And I'm not sure, I saw on their site said free shipping, but I'm not 100% positive on that. If, they, if they're charging $17 for 15 blades and you got to pay another eight bucks shipping, it starts to be, you know, almost ridiculous. But, uh, all right, there you have it. The Quad Razor. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you very much uh, for uh, hanging out on the channel. I know I banter a lot, uh, but thank you. And we will see you again very soon. Uh, with another shave. Stay safe.